nap. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I was gonna answer some questions, some postpartum, new mom life. Welcome to my new mom life. Um, I'm going to also be getting ready while I answer these questions. I asked you guys questions on Instagram. I am all over the place right now. But I'm gonna get ready, do my makeup while answering these questions about postpartum, mom life, babies, just all the things. Um, so yeah and he's gonna nap while we do so he finally fell asleep so we're just gonna get into it if i'm bouncing around and moving and swaying this entire video just honestly get used to it because i feel like i'm constantly moving of some sort so yeah okay let's get on into it i'm gonna start my makeup because I might have to go around the corner and look in the mirror or I might get real close. Okay, let's start answering some questions. I wrote down a few in my notes to answer. No particular order at all. They're all over the place. So yeah, we're just gonna get on into it. So the first question is, is mom life as good as you expected? Literally, yes, it's even better. I love being this little boy's mommy it is the actual best thing ever i wouldn't trade it for the world and yeah it's even better than i expected i've always wanted to be a mom and now i'm living that dream and it is just so wonderful he is the best baby ever i might be biased but he's pretty great and now we're jumping like totally to something else and it is, did I tear? And how has my postpartum recovery been? So if you watched my birth story all the way to the end, I did mention that I did not tear at all, which like, thank the Lord because ooh, I was definitely scared of tearing. I did not want to tear. I really, I give credit to my doctor. She basically did like a, perineal massage the entire time I was pushing but she gives me credit in saying that there was a lot of control while pushing and it wasn't like super fast like he didn't come flying out of me it was very controlled paced I pushed for 45 minutes until he came but apparently it was controlled whatever that means um and I did not tear and with that my recovery I feel like has been so much better than it could have been I feel like if I did tear it could have been just like much much harder i was just like sore down there for a week um i'm still bleeding i am i'll be five weeks postpartum on sunday it's friday now um i'm still bleeding not like a lot but i am still wearing like a panty liner but i'm grateful i didn't tear recovery has been super easy i was never had issues with like sitting or just being like in a ton of pain um just like sore going pee at first like burned <laughs> um and then yeah really was not bad grateful that i didn't tear grateful how easy i feel like this recovery has been um i was super sore for the first week not only like just down there but like my whole body because it is a workout having a baby, okay? Um, I was like pulling on these bars. If you watch my birth story, you would hear about it as well. And my arms were so sore. I was just sore all over. Um, you know, a little crampy in the beginning with breastfeeding. That's a thing I didn't even know about. It's like called after pains, after birth pains. And you get like crampy because your uterus is contracting back when you, and it happens a lot when you breastfeed. So that's, has happened in the first week a lot of it was really the first like week or two was like the worst which really was not that bad for me and i'm very grateful for that and then now i'm just like steady bleeding here and there some days it stops and i'm like am i done but then it'll come back so i don't know if i'll bleed the full six weeks further than that maybe it'll stop soon hopefully um but recovery has been really easily Re what did i just say Recovery has been really easy and I'm very grateful for that. I feel really good. Yeah. 
Um, next question was, how was my birth experience? If you haven't already, go watch my birth story for more in-depth, just full story from start to finish. Um, but quick answer, I loved my experience. I would literally give birth again and again, especially for this guy, but I do plan on one day, not anytime soon, in a few years, having more babies, so... I'm like not afraid to have more babies based off of my birth experience. I got to experience labor how I wanted to. I really wanted to know. <laughs> so weird. I really wanted to know what it all felt like. And I, again, you watch my birth story, you know. I got an epidural at seven centimeters. So by that, and my water broke naturally, like on its own. I was feeling them contractions. So I feel like I really got to experience the natural, like unmedicated part of labor labor not delivery um then i got the epidural and then i had him everything was good it was so wonderful and i just really liked my experience personally so yeah i really hope i can give to anyone that's pregnant or thinking about wanting to have kids i hope i can encourage you to like not be totally afraid because my pregnancy was really good I loved being pregnant um, and then also my birth experience was great and I love being this baby boy's mommy so don't be afraid yeah okay next question did you induce labor naturally into labor at 38 weeks and five days which is definitely like earlier than I think expected for first time mom first baby kind of thing um, I definitely expected to go to 40 weeks or past 40 weeks so going into labor at 38 and 5 was like, okay. Um, and I, like, I don't know if I really was in trying to induce labor naturally at home, but I definitely did things that I feel like you see on TikTok, like bouncing on a ball, but also I was doing those things to just prep for labor, kind of. Um, bouncing on a ball, drink a ton of red raspberry leaf tea. I really didn't eat dates. I like made little date things and ugh, dates just are gross. So I didn't really eat dates. Um went on tons of walks actually story time the day before i went to labor bradley and i i was like let's go to the beach and go on a walk on the beach okay nine months pregnant i'm like let's go walk on the beach like you know see if it gets things going because i was ready to have this guy so we went to the beach but we went in like the middle of the day we live in florida it is literally so hot we go in the middle of the day i wore like a sundress <sighs> The sand, I'm not kidding, was probably like <laughs> a million degrees. So hot, burns our feet. We're like running to the down to the water. Not joking when I say running. Nine month, uh, nine month pregnant Olivia, running down the beach to the water to get my feet cooled off. We get down there. Okay, whatever. Sand was really hot, but cooled them off in the water. It's all good. My dress gets wet. Ugh. <sighs> Cause it was a long dress it gets wet ick um whatever let's go on a walk bradley's like trying to fish while we walk i don't know and my legs my thighs start chafing okay it's so hot the thighs are rubbing i'm like not having fun anymore we haven't walked very far yet i'm like let's turn around let's go back my thighs are rubbing not having fun anymore i'm uncomfortable i'm hot no no no, no. um we start walking back and I'm like just having a fit at this point. My thighs are really rubbing together. I'm trying not to walk like this. I was at the point where I needed to walk like this because the thighs were not doing so good. I was very uncomfortable. I was hormonal, obviously, nine months pregnant. And I started crying. And Bradley's like, just let's take a break. And I'm like, no, I wanna get to the car and go home. Go up the beach. And it is so hot again. The sand burning our feet. I'm cry I was already crying, so the cry, the tears just kept on coming. Um, sprinting again, nine month pregnant Olivia, running up this beach, the soft, loose sand burning my feet, and I just stop, and I stand there, and I'm crying, and I'm saying, I can't go any further. <laughs> so dramatic, I know. Um, Bradley picks me up, picks me up, carries me, dr throws his fishing pole on the ground, picks me up, and carries me up to the beach to get me to the car. So embarrassing. Oh my god, there's so many people on this beach. How embarrassing for me. But that might have been done the trick to get me to go into labor because not pregnant, walking on like loose sand, already difficult, burning my feet, so I'm running in this loose sand. Super pregnant. 
could have done the trick. And also later that evening, I, we went on a super long walk in our neighborhood again. So, yeah, I don't know if I was really trying to induce labor, but I might have. <laughs> this part's the hardest part with having a baby on your chest, putting powder on. So I'm not trying to drip it all over his head. Look who's home. Daddy's home. I can have a pink drink. Okay. Okay. This question's about his sleep schedule, all that. How does he sleep at night? Um, so as far as schedules go, we don't really have any particular schedule. I try to follow eat, play, sleep. He's obviously not really playing much right now, which basically it's just like him being awake. Um, or we do play a little bit, do tummy time, all that good stuff. That's kind of the routine I follow. Um, but every day is different. We don't have like a time schedule, if that makes sense. We he His wake windows right now are about an hour, hour and a half. If he gets past that hour and a half, he starts to get overtired, which gets really difficult to put him to sleep, which was happening this morning, and that's why he's napping in the carrier. But otherwise, we I try to do at least one good nap in his crib every day. He is still sleeping in the bassinet next to me. Um, he sleeps really well, actually. Obviously, that could change. As he grows, he's going to have so many changes in his sleep patterns and just overall change in general um but right now he is sleeping good he does we go to bed around so anywhere between nine and nine mm, between nine and ten i'll say just a long stretch try to get between 9 15 and 9 30 is i feel like our best bedtime um but he does a good long stretch for his first stretch of the night like for example last night Last night he did a five hour stretch and then he <laughs> Someone wanted to sell something. I said nope. Mm -mm. Oakley, it's okay. He did a five hour stretch um, in the first stretch of his night. And then he woke up, he ate, I changed them, all that. And then down, back down for bed and he slept for another three up. Was it three hours? I think it was three hours or like two hours and 56 minutes. So three hours. Um, and then he woke up again, fed him, um, and then we laid back in bed because it was mommy was still tired a little bit. So we laid back in bed for like an hour, probably only slept for like 30 minutes because he was kind of awake. Um, but he did really good last night. And actually last night, we I put him in a sleep sack or like sleep bag from Kite Baby for the first time instead of a swaddle so his little arms were out um and he did really good so that was good feeding schedule i got questions about that so during the day right now we're feeding him our i'm breastfeeding which is another question i'll get into later but um he feeds between two and a half and three hours during the day so basically from like 8 a.m to 8 p.m that kind of time range he's feeding two and a half three hours um, and then during the night, it's just whenever he wakes up and we got approved by that for um, his doctor because he's gaining weight like a champ. Yeah, that's that. I need to put my bronzer on. I've just been chatting. I'm not even doing my makeup. I look crazy. Also, the I normally put bronzer down my neck, but because he's here right now, I'm not going to do it until later. So don't mind the my white neck. I look a little crazy because I need to put mascara on. Um, the brows are right now because I have no mascara on. But we're going to put mascara on and they'll look a lot better. But I will get back to answering questions now. Where was I? Okay. Am I breastfeeding and how is it going? Yes, I am breastfeeding and I love it. Let me get my mascara. Yes, I am breastfeeding and I love it. It is so sweet. It's such a like special thing um, And I I don't know it's been going really good. It was really not that easy in the beginning um, In the hospital I had to get a nurse or a lactation consultant to help me latch him every single time in the hospital so going home was like 
but we finally we got it figured out the first like week was like tough especially with breastfeeding because getting him latched i couldn't get him latched on my left only my right so i was doing different positions trying to figure it out my nipples were hurting um they were blistered Ew. Um, watched a million videos i had lactation consult consultants in the hospital that were really helpful but i watched a ton of videos um on like physicians and getting a good latch and all of that and then one day it's like it just clicked for us and he latched on so good and now he latches on so easily like i just put it by him and he's like uh -oh. as far as like pumping goes i got questions about that i've pumped here and there he's had a few bottles and he takes them really well um and i collect milk with a haka sometimes or an lv curve basically the same thing different shape um but yeah breastfeeding has been going really good i really enjoy it i really hope i'm able to like have a like be able to do it for a year is my goal um so really hoping for that but also fed is best always um but i'm very grateful my body is doing what it needs to do i really need to you know i really need to eat healthier and drink more water so then my supply lasts, which actually reminds me that I need to drink water because I'm drinking coffee and I don't think I've had like hardly any water today. So I'm gonna go make a water really quick and we're gonna drink that because it just reminded me. Be right back. I'm back. How cute is this water bottle? I love the color for summertime. It's a huge water bottle. Like I said, I'm trying to eat healthier, drink more water and I struggle big time with drinking water. All I wanna drink is coffee and Diet Dr. Pepper not good um we gotta keep the milkies going so i started drinking water drop this is just their water bottle but i'm gonna add this flavor it's like little flavor drops for your water this is a watermelon one it's watermelon and cucumber it's called breeze there's zero sugar it just adds flavor and extra hydration and vitamins to your drink pop them out that's what they look like little cubes um i can get it to focus they're just like little cubes you drop into your water adds extra flavor so it helps me with that there's a butterfly cute um helps me drink more water and also gives me the extra vitamins and hydration they have a bunch of different flavors i have more this one is just my favorite it's really really refreshing it's so hot out so super refreshing with my cold water little cube goes in there for it to dissolve and you have yummy flavor water with extra hydration and helps me drink more water because i really need to especially with breastfeeding also just for my health but especially for breastfeeding to keep my supply up um hydrating is literally key and i suck at it unless i'm drinking water drop it helps literally so much i have a bunch um this one is called flare elderflower lime blossom and raspberry we've got sky which is pineberry passion fruit and prickly pear yum love and it is pomegranate goji berry and um i don't know how to say that word but it's called youth it is peach ginger and aloe vera it's called vibe and it is goldenberry peppermint and rosemary also yum i have a ton of different flavors all different things they're all super good add a little something to your water so refreshing it literally tastes like i have watermelon and cucumber in my water so nice so good now I'll remember to drink more water which I really need to. You guys want to get yourself some water drop, which you totally should because we all could use some more water in our life and flavored water is better water. And it has extra vitamins and hydration and all that good stuff. And they have really cute water bottles. Like literally this yellow color, I'm obsessed with. I just bought him, off topic, just bought him like a sleeper in this like same yellow color. I'm so excited for it to get here. Um, anyways, if you guys want to check out Water Drop, definitely do. You can go to their website with the link in my description box below and use my code Olivia Messler for 15% off their entire website. Get you some Water Drop, get a water bottle, stay hydrated this summer. It is hot out here. Well, it is in Florida. I don't know about anywhere else, but.
That's like actually so good. It legit tastes like, you know, Mm, I might be the only person that really likes this, but you know in some hotels they have like a water station with like cucumber and like Fruit and a water pitcher and you get little cups of water. That's what it tastes like so refreshing so good. I love it Also so much easier than actually making fruit water. Let's be real. Hi Say hi, but yeah definitely check it out. I have it. I will have it linked down below um code Olivia Messler for 15% off their entire website and yeah back into the Q&A um back to breastfeeding I am breastfeeding I'm loving it um definitely was not easy I don't want to make it sound like it was just easy breezy beautiful my nipples were about to fall off it felt like <laughs> um and I would get really overwhelmed in the beginning because obviously I was his source of food I was feeding him, I needed to feed him, and it would really like overwhelm me if I couldn't get him latched because I'm like, he gotta eat, okay? And obviously, the stresses of like, I we hadn't gone to the doctor yet, I didn't know if he was gaining weight good, so I didn't know how much he was eating, because with breastfeeding, you don't really know how much they're getting. Um, but then after the doctors, I was really reassured that he was getting enough, and I just have really enjoyed breastfeeding for me so yeah you are um planning to breastfeed just prepare for it to be you know difficult in the beginning and just try not to give up if you do really want to breastfeed i feel like it can be easy to want to give up my camera's dying no i'm not done um but just try not to stick it out it gets so much better it was like snap of a finger and he was latching on so good and it's been so great ever since okay i gotta like change my camera because it's dying different camera so we have a totally different angle looks a little different so apologize if that bothers you um but back to questions how is oakley with the baby <laughs> really good actually <laughs> oakley himself psycho Oakley with the baby, actually really sweet. He's very calm around the baby, and he hasn't really bothered him ever. He, like, kind of doesn't pay attention to him much. Sometimes he wants to give him a kiss, and he's allowed to. Not on the face, though. Um, so he's been learning that. But other than that, he's actually been really, really good. We were a little nervous because Oakley's a little insane, which he definitely is still super insane, but not with the baby. So that is what's important, what's good. Um... um newborn must have so i actually made an entire um list of my newborn must haves on my amazon storefront if you want to go like look at that directly which let me look at it because i don't even so i know what to say to you so i know how to answer this question because off the top of my head my brain doesn't work um newborn must haves okay let's see here um burp cloths oh my gosh so many burp cloths it's true when people say you never have enough you need a ton of burp cloths i just have the little white muslin cheapo ones from amazon they're great um then i have on here i have the phillips advent soothe pacifiers they're like the big ugly blue ones those are like the ones he liked in the beginning but now he likes the man pacifiers these ones um these are the man pacifiers they're really lightweight that's what they look like and he takes them really well he like takes them right away if he wants it if he doesn't want it then he spits it out but if he wants it he takes it right away and it's really lightweight to where if it starts to fall out of his mouth he can catch it in time and like suck it back in um and they're like not so bulky so at nighttime if he does have it in his mouth he won't like hit it out of his mouth or just not even at nighttime in general he won't like smack it out of his mouth um, the hatch sound machine everyone says that but it is really good i like it for the light i like it for the sound obviously we use it in our bedroom right now because that's where he's sleeping and i just have it on the red light at night with the white noise next would be carriers i really like this one it's from baby bajorn and it's super easy to put on by yourself but another good one or like another kind i like are the wrap carriers i like a solly baby but i bought a cheaper one from amazon and it works just as good my favorite like sleepers for him are from little sleepies they're definitely pricey i was definitely skeptical in the beginning i bought them on sale when i was pregnant one like i bought two on sale and then i bought this one 
and then I have bought in two more since and my mom actually grandma just bought him three yesterday so I'm so excited for those but they're my favorite and they're absolutely like I was skeptical they're $34 a piece okay not cheap they're bamboo but they are so stretchy and there's definitely so much room for him to grow like they fit now but I can tell they're gonna fit for like months still um compared to like all the cotton cheaper sleepers um and they're just stretchy they're so easy for changing him like getting him on and off easily i like that there's flaps on the feet so they could just be a romper or they can be footy flaps on the hands for when they're itty bitty and they're scratching themselves um they're my favorite totally think it's worth it in my opinion and i can tell that his newborn size is going to fit him at least for like three more months if not longer and i've been getting him zero to three months which are definitely going to fit further than three months for sure so i love little sleepy sleepers yeah i don't know those are probably my newborn must haves um i'll just keep that theme going of essentials slash must haves postpartum essentials for me, I, like I said, had a very easy recovery, so I bought more than I needed for sure. Um, I bought like a bunch of pads, like overnight ginormous pads I bought. Um, I bought two Frida Perry bottles. I had Dermaplast Tux, like so many, like I had doubles of all of that and I definitely didn't need it. Um, my must haves would be like regular, okay, large and then regular pads for me, personal experience those kind of pads the other ones were just so massive in the beginning they were nice because you're bleeding a lot and i was using the tux of dermaplast i don't really know if it did anything but it was fine for like the first week or two week and a half and then like randomly the tux and the dermaplast started making me itch and burn i don't know why because it's literally supposed to do the opposite of that so i don't know why that happened um i bought diapers <laughs> like adult diapers to wear at night and i did not like them they were so uncomfortable the peri bottles yes get them but also the hospital one i didn't take it home because i had two of these at home but the peri bottle at the hospital it's not that bad everyone says that it's like the worst and you need the freedom on one it was not that bad <laughs> just fill it up with warm water and spray that thing work just the same um i bought too much of everything and i have so much left over in my bathroom which I'll put it away because it doesn't like go bad. But yeah, my best advice for postpartum stuff is honestly get like the bare minimum, if not get nothing because they're gonna give it to you in the hospital. You get tux, you get dermaplast, you get pads, you get the mesh underwear. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention the Freedom Mom underwear. I did really enjoy those. Those were really nice. I loved them, Um, but they give you all kinds of stuff in the hospital. So take that, see how you, how it goes down there after you have your baby. See if you tear, depend on what, like depending on what circumstances, depending, it's gonna depend on what kind of stuff you need for recovery, if that makes sense. So I would just wait, take what they give you at the hospital and then have somebody run out to the store or get that Amazon cart ready and order what you need after you have your baby. So you don't waste money because I definitely bought way too much. Following that, what did I bring to the hospital? I have it in my notes, and I think I packed perfectly. We strong, baby. I feel like I brought everything I needed, and I really didn't overpack at all. Um, so what I packed for me, I bought brought button-down pajamas, socks, nursing bra, nursing pads, which I didn't use the nursing pads, by the way. Nibble butter, silverette nursing cups, a going home outfit, my makeup bag and toiletries, the Freedom Mom Perry bottle, I did not use, organic pads, I did not use, Freedom Mom boy shorts, I did not use in the hospital, black towel to wash my face, I did use, um, for him I brought the zip swaddle which was the love to dream, which he did use that, I brought a stretchy swaddle, I did not use that, um, two sleepers which I put him in I think one to go home, Mittens we did use because his nails were so long, okay? So long. Two pairs of socks we used when we left, one pair of the socks. Three hats, we did use one of those hats. Um, a baby blanket, we did not use. <laughs> um, 
announcement stuff we didn't use because I didn't take announcement pictures in the hospital. Hairbrush, we did use. It was so fun to give him a little mohawk in the hospital. Um, and then for dad, an extra, an extra outfit for him and underwear. Obviously he used. Two extra long charging cords, he, we did use. My camera, I did not use. A cozy blanket, I did use. My big cup, I did use. A file folder, to because they give you a freaking million papers, we did use that. And then snacks for Redley, which I don't even know if he really ate any snacks. Okay, baby blues. Have I experienced any of it? Did I have baby blues? Um, first of all, if you experience any form of baby blues, he's pooping. I can feel his booty moving. If you experience any form of baby blues, just know it's so normal. The first week for a few days, every day around six o'clock, I would get upset over something, whether it be happy tears or sad tears. And that was the little touch of baby blues I had. It was not bad, but it's totally normal to get that way. You're very hormonal. Your body just was like, just went through a lot of hormones, okay? So it's totally normal. Um, but yeah, that was my experience. I would just get upset at the end of the day for whatever reason. Overwhelmed. <sighs> he burped loudly. Just anything random would like make me cry. Or I'd get overwhelmed with trying to feed him or somebody would just piss me off. <laughs> I'm like pretty much ready, especially since he's awake. I'm gonna say I am ready to go. <laughs> I have to still fix my hair, but I'll do that later. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, he's hungry, so I'm gonna go feed him. There's my baby. There's my baby boy. There he is. There's that baby. There he is. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Water Drop. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm going to go because he's hungry.